You know I only want you Straight up going to be my very first girl talk video where I talk <laughs> about stuff today you're just gonna get to know me okay so I have 15 random facts about me basically gonna be exposing myself because some of this stuff I've never told anyone <laughs> I don't know I just never told anybody some of these things some of these things are obvious to people who know me but some are not. So, the very first thing, this is probably the weirdest thing on my list because uh, I don't know. I used to eat lotion. Yeah, let me tell you what kind, honestly. Bad boy, well, not this, but I used to eat cocoa butter lotion. But I was young, okay? It's not like recently or anything. <laughs> I really used to eat lotion. Like, I don't know. I just like the taste of it, but I don't do it anymore, clearly, because I'm like. That's gross now. But when I was around, like in kindergarten, I used to, like my mom used to put lotion on me and she used to leave out the room. <laughs> used to eat some and also used to spray some on my hand and just like lick it. Okay, that's enough of that. But yeah, I used to eat lotion, so. Second one, I've never been to Cedar Point, ever. Never been, seen videos of it, heard stories. But I've never attended Cedar Point before. Um. I don't know why I like planned to go before I just never followed through with the plans and I just never been to Cedar Point so and I live in Ohio that's kind of what the bad thing is because Cedar Point is in Ohio and I live in Ohio and I've had ample opportunity to go to Cedar Point but I've never been there so <laughs> for three I love sloths now listen I got an explanation for why I really adore sloths I've never like liked them before I just started recently liking sloths because they're just so like if you just look at a video of a sloth they're so peaceful minding their business just slowly moving through life you know taking it as it come and just <laughs> I got me a little sloth right here too his name is Spencer I got him for Valentine's Day say hey Spencer um but I really love sloths like they're just they're ugly as shit I ain't gonna lie but but that's what makes them unique okay number three Oh, sorry. Number four. I can't swim. Um, I don't really have an explanation for this. I just cannot swim. I've tried to learn before. No, I'm just kidding. I've never tried to learn. I like to be in the water. I just don't like to um, go where I cannot touch the ground because that's when I start to panic. <laughs> Number five. I hate milk. I actually have two fun facts about milk that are low-key embarrassing. Not embarrassing, but low-key weird. And the other one is just an actual reason why I hate milk. Like, when I say I hate milk, like, I cannot smell it. I cannot, if it touches my tongue, I will, I will puke. Really, nigga? The first reason, not really reason, but the first thing I have to say about milk. When I was younger, I used to think, <laughs> I used to think that white milk was for white people and chocolate milk was for chocolate, not chocolate people, but black people. Strawberry milk, I don't know. I just thought it was a random ass milk that they just made for both of us people. But I know that sounds really bad, but I was like really young, okay? I was in like, I don't know, first or second grade, and I really strongly believed that chocolate milk was for black people, so I only drunk chocolate milk. That's not why I don't like milk. That's just a fun fact that I used to really believe like that I could not drink white milk because it was not for me. Honestly, milk ain't for me. Well, a lot of black people like have lactose intolerance. So, milk isn't really for us. I'm gonna be technical. But another reason why I really don't like milk is because when I was younger, my sister tried to for- Man, listen. I was eating spaghetti. Who drinks milk with spaghetti? Like, alright. And I'm just like, I don't- I didn't have no feelings towards milk at this time. But when I drunk that- When I drunk that glass of milk, you guys, I threw up everywhere. I really- do not like milk I can't stand it I can't smell it if you ask me to smell milk and see if it's spoiled I will say yes it smells spoiled to me that's how I feel about it number six now <laughs> this is quite interesting I permed my hair in the seventh grade I didn't do it. my mom did it and I went bald-headed now I have I have a story about this actually because you know people be saying stuff like 
the reason why I ain't got no hair now is because my mom perm my hair in like third grade and I went bald. I actually did this myself. This was my choice. My mom would not let me. She did not want me to do this. She said, Jamila, you're not going to have no hair. It ain't for you. I, first of all, didn't take care of it. Um, so I went bald and my hair was like right here. Um, <laughs> I was one of those children who wanted to have straight hair like all the other people and I didn't like my natural hair. But now I love my fucking roots. Or seven, my brother cut my hair. Yeah, I was really young. I was probably like four, three or four. He cut my hair. Yes, he did. We were in my mother's room, okay? And my mom, my mom had this um, cabinet thing. It was like a drawer you pull out. And she had scissors in there. Um, he was like, and I think this day he had just got a haircut. I think, I don't know if it was his first haircut ever, but he was just really intrigued with the idea of cutting hair. So he said, you want a haircut? And I said, sure, why not? <laughs> totally. <laughs> yeah. He cut my shit. <laughs> I had a little ponytail at the top and the round was gone. I was bald headed, okay? And I had a ponytail at the top. This nigga snip. He said, Choo! and it was gone. Just like that. Boom. And he hid it in the bathroom trash can because he knew we were going to get in trouble. And my mom found it and cursed his ass out. Okay. Number eight. This is actually really interesting. And I know you used to do it too. So don't be trying to judge me when I say this. Because I know I'm not the only one. I used to steal Webkin's tags from the store. If you don't know what a Webkin's is, you know, it's like a, it's like a plush toy. Right? And it comes with a tag. And the tag has an access code on it. And when you log into webkins.com, it's like this website where you have virtual pets and you take care of them. And I don't know, you go to the store, you buy shit. I don't even remember. But it was, I just know it was a really fun game. And I used to always want a webkins, but I didn't want to buy it. I remember I walked to the store with my brother. And I think they were like, they was not that expensive at all. But I was young, okay, and broke. I still am. But I was younger and broker. So... I used to steal them. I used to grab, take some scissors to the store, cut the tag off. My brother used to be at the end of the aisle watching, making sure nobody was about to come through and see us. Put it in my pocket. I had like 50 cents on me, maybe buy a candy bar so it wouldn't look like I was just coming in, coming out. And boom, went home, put my access code in, and I was in there. Okay. Number nine, I am a really good fake sleeper. Like, it really your whole conversation, and they would think that I am dead sleeping, but I am like awake. Maybe if somebody was trying to like come in here and kill me. I, and like they shot me or something in the mist or whatever, I'd really be, I, I, really great fake, fake sleeper or whatever, so. Number 10, I used to write stories on Wattpad. You know those, um, like mindless behavior stories or like those fan fictions? <laughs> and it's crazy because now that I look at it, I have like over 100,000 reads on my stuff. Like I was really hitting it with the writing, okay? 11, I've never had a Christmas tree before. Yeah, never. But I mean, I'm not like mad about that or anything because I grew up in a Muslim home. So we didn't celebrate things like that. But I've never had a Christmas tree before. We just always put our gifts like under a table and like in the center, like in a corner or something. 12, I used to do ballet. I hated that shit. My toes would hurt. And I used to actually do like little shows or whatnot. Um, so yeah, I used to do ballet. I've never had a pet before. Ever in my life. I've never had a fish, turtle, dog, cat. Nothing. I really want a dog though. Like I feel like dogs are so therapeutic in a way. And they're just like a little best friend. I used to practice choreographed dances in my room. And I remember this one specific song by Tiana Taylor. Is it by Tiana Taylor? And I'm trying to think of the name of this song. It's called Drop It Low. Drop It, Drop It Low. Oh, Esther Dean. I don't know why I said Tiana Taylor. I feel like Tiana Taylor did a dance to it. But guys, this was my song. Hold on, let me play it for you quick. I don't know if I remember the dance, but... Alright. Last one. Last random fact about me that you probably didn't know. I draw. I don't really draw as much as I used to. I have my sketchbook here. I'm going to show y'all some of my lovely drawings. Okay. This is another one. Her hair is kind of cute, but like, I feel like it's too close to her eyebrows. <laughs> and it's really defined, like, especially like down here. Um, 
because I have like shading and stuff in that one. So that is all of my 15 random facts about me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, lovely.